I had all but given up hope for Steam Machines. But knowing how curious Valve are with their decision making and development cycle, I hadn't completely given up hope. Now, there's nothing confirmed here. I mean, all we have is a few quotes and some disparate factoids that I'm trying to make sense out of. But here's what we've got to go on. Valve are releasing a new game called Artifact, a trading card game in the vein of Hearthstone. While I'm intrigued to play this game, I'm also going to reserve my judgment until I've actually played it myself. But! At an event detailing this new title, Gabe Newell, the head of Valve, said a few interesting things. First, he said Artifact is the first of several games that are going to come from us, so it's sort of good news. Hooray, Valve is going to start shipping games again! And yeah, that is good news. I mean, Valve's games are perhaps their strongest asset. Titles like Half-Life, Portal, Left 4 Dead, Dota 2, and many other huge names are intensely fun and simultaneously innovative for their genre. That's cool. I mean, several new games, according to Newell, are coming out, presumably on Linux, since they're still actively developing SteamOS, their Debian-based distro optimized for Steam and gaming. But then he said this. We've always been a little bit jealous of companies like Nintendo. When Miyamoto is sitting down thinking about the next Zelda or Mario, he's thinking what is the controller going to look like? What sort of graphics and other capabilities? And he can introduce new capabilities like motion input, because he has control of both those things. And he can make the hardware look as good as possible, because he's designing the software at the same time that's really going to take advantage of that. That's something we've been jealous of, and that's something you'll see us take advantage of subsequently. That's interesting. Very interesting, especially when you consider news that was reported on earlier this year. Steam's big picture mode is getting a new interface, and the Steam UI is getting an update. So the facts are this. Valve has several games coming out. SteamOS keeps receiving updates even though Steam machines are generally considered a failure by the wider community. They're jealous of Nintendo and their ability to develop hardware that perfectly suits their software releases. And Gabe promised that's something we'll see from them going forward. Now one of the things that I always lamented about Valve's hardware offerings was that there was limited, if any, first party support that demonstrated precisely how other industry leaders could take advantage of the new hardware. I mean, if Nintendo had created the Steam Controller, they would have found interesting and innovative ways to use the trackpads and other unique aspects of the hardware. Valve hasn't done that yet. Valve have relied on hardware manufacturing partners for most of their designs. The Vive is made by HTC. The Steam Machine lineup came from Alienware, Falcon Northwest, and others. And leaving it to the Steam Machine partners left us with a confusing, muddled launch that was aimed at nobody. I mean, to be fair, why would someone who's already invested in PC gaming buy a pre-built machine that ended up meaning you couldn't play your Windows exclusive games? And on the flip side, if you weren't invested in PC gaming, it was a confusing mess of options. That approach failed, all the way back in 2015, and yet 2018 has seen a stable and a beta release of SteamOS. So what does this all mean? I believe we're going to see a first-party Steam console from Valve launched alongside one of their several games that they have in the pipeline. It will probably have VR capabilities. I think it might have a redesigned Steam controller. And if Gabe and his team have any sense to them, and I think they do, it will be competitively priced with current-gen consoles like the Switch and the PS4 Pro. It will also be running SteamOS. It'll be around the same time we see the redesigned big picture mode, and it could be as early as this holiday season, though knowing Valve time it might be a long ways out. Keep in mind that this is all speculation on my part, and I'm admittedly a painfully optimistic person. <laughs> and while I've been accused of being a Linux fanboy, I really think Linux is the future of gaming. And so does Gabe. But I want to know what you think. Will we see a Steam console in the near future? Are there crucial details that I missed? Leave me a comment and let me know or hit me up on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. If you enjoyed this video and like the work that I do, consider making a monthly pledge over on Patreon or LibrePay. With your help, we can hit our next goal. Check that goal over at Patreon. You can also share this video and hit that like button and make sure you mash that subscribe button to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.